Hey, what's going on guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to flip a pencil slash pen in your hand. Um, it's really not that complicated. Um, whenever I get bored in class, I start to do it, and I'm sure a lot of other people that do it tend to do it as well, uh, if they know how to do this trick. So I'm going to teach you how to do it. It's really quite simple. So basically the way I learned how to do it was I started with a lead pencil, and I placed my pointer finger on the eraser, the flat part. It's harder to do it this way if you put it on the tip, so I recommend if you're just starting out to put it on top of the eraser. So next, you're gonna put your thumb around right here where this little, um, I don't know the name for it, where, wherever this thing is, whatever it's called, put it there and you take your middle finger and move it about halfway down the pencil. So give your thumb and your point, your middle finger um, some space and what you're gonna do you're just gonna it's like a trigger you're gonna take your middle finger like a trigger and kind of push it back and what you're gonna do whenever you do that it'll flip the pencil around your thumb like so what it basically does in slow motion if you push it with your middle finger like a trigger it'll go around your thumb like so and it'll naturally go into your hand and you'll catch it. So basically the best way to do this, the best way to learn how to do it to get it is a way that a not that not a lot of people are really going to be fond of and that's practice. Um, if you keep doing it you're eventually going to get it. It's going to feel really awkward and the physics behind it doesn't seem like it would work. Uh, like just a little bit if you just push back a little bit with your middle finger, it'll automatically just flip back. It's really weird to think about, but it works. I don't know how. I'm not good at physics or anything like that, but that's how it works. So one more quick run through. Pointer finger on the eraser. Middle finger about halfway down, and your thumb about an inch up above your middle finger. And like a trigger, just push back with your middle finger and your thumb and pointer finger all they have to do is stay in, stay in place and you'll get it trust me also the easiest tool to use is definitely a number two pencil that hasn't been sharpened yet uh, the reason that is is because both sides are even in weight so therefore it's going to be a little bit easier to flip it around so I hope you all enjoyed I hope this tutorial helped you in any way um, if it did, please like the video, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.